there we have it guys engine and transmission in the car finally nice to see it back in there but uh yeah it wasn't too bad going back in so uh i didn't have an issue with the steering shaft this time uh what i did end up doing maybe it, what i did differently was uh as i was going down into the engine bay um and then getting the transmission in, in there uh once i got it down far enough and it felt like it got stuck uh put a jack underneath and i just slowly kept uh going up on the jack and down on the engine hoist and it, it slowly went down until it went past uh, the oil pan got past the uh the steering rack once you get past that then it, it falls into place easily but uh i mean for the most part it's put back together really there's not uh a whole bunch that we got to put back together here in the engine bay uh i have the one thing that i did have i think different is that uh the other time i didn't put the power steering pump on and this was hitting up against this pipe um but yeah i don't I'm, i wasn't sure what i was gonna do if i was gonna run power steering or not just because i know that these leak like they're horrible when it comes to that and I don't want to have to take the take it all apart again to do the wrecking pinion. But I got it on, see if it works. I was considering doing uh the Hikus delete. Um so I would, you know, to do that I uh I have another power steering pump, an NA power steering pump that I could use and I delete all this crap and just get a NA reservoir, but I don't know. For now we're going to try that out. See if the See if the pump works and see if it doesn't leak from all over, from everywhere possible. Um, also got the AC compressor on there. I'm hoping that I can get the AC working on this car. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just got to put the rest of the little stuff on around it. Uh, the only other thing that I did want to try and do, I already started before I took the engine out, uh, cleaning up some of the wiring harnesses that were brittle, like that have this crap this factory stuff um i started taking whatever was really brittle off and retaped it with this uh fabric tape that i like to use so what i want to do is i want to try and uh continue using the fabric tape on this harness i'm not gonna this harness isn't gonna be permanent i plan on uh uh doing a mega squirt in the future so i don't want to make it like too too fancy because i'm going to be making a whole nother harness for it anyways but i just want to make it look a little a little cleaner uh for now because for now i just want it running so now just gotta continue on and uh keep pushing and finish this thing Hi guys so i got pretty much everything that i could do for today put together um got all the all these pipes um put together the accordion pipe these uh pipes that go to the turbo on both sides um i still need those pieces for the heater i don't know if i can see them from here that right there there's one right there and then the other one goes in this way you can't see it but i need both of those from my buddy that uh was blocking them off for me uh before i put the plenum on then put the plenum on and then uh i can figure out the rest of the wiring harness but um the only other thing besides that is the radiator my radiator um this piece right here the drain got messed up when i took it out when i went to drain the fluid this thing got hard as i was uh taking it out 
And uh, yeah, so I gotta go get this fixed. I'll probably just have this uh, welded shut. I ended up not even using it when I drained it. Uh, I think I took the lower radiator hose off instead. So I'm just gonna have this blocked off. And uh, yeah, besides that, this is all that's left. We got the plenum. These two uh, hoses that go to the plenum and then, you know, whatever little pieces that go on top of the plenum. That's pretty much it. Everything else underneath the car is done. So we just need to get those things and then we can keep on, uh, keep on going. All right, guys, so here are the pieces that I needed to go get. I just picked them up. Um, all it is is uh, little block offs for the for where the heater pipes would go. So if you were gonna run your heater, obviously you wouldn't do this, but I'm not running my heater, so I just need something to block it off with. And uh, just put some silicone on here and uh, put them on, good to go. Then we can put the rest of this together. Alright guys, so now I'm at the wiring harness part and uh, this is probably going to be like the boringest part of of this and it's only because I want to clean this up because I don't, I don't know why this bothers me so much but um, yeah, you can see I already have some of it done. It does look a lot better. You can, it's, it's, you know, it cleans up the engine bay a lot better. Um, for sure, it would look better if it was tucked underneath the intake, but uh, that's gonna be for when I do a mega squirt, because uh, then I'll, you know, I'll take my time to make that harness and tuck that one, and maybe shave the the plenum where uh, where some of this stuff goes. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video now because this is gonna take me forever and it's gonna be boring as hell. So in the next video. We should be ready to to start up because uh yeah there's not much left and maybe i'll get the radiator fixed by then uh or maybe i'll, I'll start up without the radiator because uh i think i shouldn't have put these on but i really want to try and get it started up so in the next one you guys will probably be seeing it start up so until then i hope you guys are enjoying this and we'll see you on the next one peace